Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another radio video. And like I said, right after the previous video, I'm going to talk about recent purchase of this MFJ 1886 received loop antenna. And this covers from 500 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz. As you can see, it's pretty freaking big. And I have it mounted to a nine foot cl uh, closet pole to an umbrella stand. And it's on top of one of my outdoor containers. And let me walk around this way because we just had snow yesterday actually the day before yesterday excuse me and uh let me walk down this way because uh it's a little icy on that side and i'm not gonna take that big step and <laughs> i don't want to wind up in a <clears throat> face plant reel <laughs> so there you go mfj 1886 active loop uh, so right now it's between the stand right outside my backyard. It's probably another. It's probably a good. Uh, I'm gonna say about at the top of that loop, it's gonna be about at least 12 feet. Maybe a little more than 12 feet. Maybe about 13. Yeah, I'm gonna say about 13 feet off the ground. And I got it hooked up to 50 feet of LMR 400. It's going down to, excuse me, it's going down to the basement. Yeah, Alamo 400, that's right. 50 feet, I paid uh, $39 for 50 feet. It was a good deal on eBay. And uh, this thing is rigid. It's an outdoor. Um, and the reason why I got it too is because um very low low noise so let's go inside and i'll show you the other half of this uh antenna yeah so this is the other half right here it's coming in through it's from the outside this is a boiler room that is a vent that this used to be an old laundry room on this side of the boiler room and that was the vent for the uh, dryer so eventually i'm gonna remodel this basement also so there will be a wash and dry here someday in the future. And also I will redo the vent. So this is the line. Uh, LMR 400 is coming in. 50 feet. I have it padded because um, I don't want no, nothing, no scratches on it when I bring it through the, uh, to the you know, through the, through the wall. And it's coming down here to the, sorry, let me, um, let me put the uh, light on. I'm sorry about that. There you go. By a C. Okay, so that's your bias T. And basically what it does is connect it to um, this end goes to the antenna. This end goes to my radio. And that is the power. I'm trying to get in here. Yeah, your power. Power connector. 12 volts. And this is a switch. And um, right now it's on AM. Um, let's see. 10:50 a.m. So even if you have it off, you can still listen. But this is just the uh, boost. So it can work without the power. But you know, this is to boost, basically to uh, they got all those um low signals. And it's connected to the radio. Go all this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the camera. And there you go. Sell them off 400. Pigtail right here also. So, again, this antenna is from 30 megahertz up to. Excuse me, let me put this on the tri tripod over here. I'm sorry for all the shaking. So yeah, this antenna is from 30 megahertz. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> 500 kilohertz all the way up to 30 megahertz. However, um, I've been picking up long wave on it also, and. 
It, it I, actually I picked up as um like I said beacons, uh, three hundred kilohertz range. Um, I picked up something else around the two two. I found a, a couple of carriers, you know, and I think some of them are actually broadcast long wave stations from Europe, but I cannot make out, you know, until I get a real good copy of it, I cannot confirm those signals. But that loop is really, really, um, I'm going to say, I paid 249 for that loop. Um, of course, the shipping really was pricey. I paid $45 of shipping. So it came out total came out to two ninety two ninety four. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, almost three hundred dollars. About two ninety four or something like that. My wife right now is fuzzy. Man, just woke up a couple hours ago. <laughs> yeah, so about three hundred dollars in the U.S. because they sent it to FedEx. It took about two days to arrive here, and uh, I know that the shipping is very high. I don't know. I don't know how much would it cost to send it over to Europe or so and so on. But that's the only thing that. MFJ needs to do a better job on the shipping. I mean, it was a pretty big box, and so on. I get it. And it was also FedEx. But $50 shipping or whatever, almost $50 shipping for a box that weighs 10 pounds, I think that's a little too high. So they need to do a better job with that shipping cost. And that was in the continental U.S. Um, other than that, um, when it did arrive also, um, it did... Uh, I had got I had this for over two weeks. However, when I arrived here, it was missing the uh, power supply, so I had to send the trouble ticket, and of course they were helpful about it, and they did sh ship me the uh, power supply, and of course now you know I I had it indoors actually on in the second floor, and it was okay, it was performing okay, and the problem is the loop is so big. Although you can't use it indoors. Um, I did not buy it, just have it indoors. That was not the purpose of it. So right now I have it out in the backyard. Um, it's doing pretty well. Um, I, I'm For right now, I'm going to recommend this antenna because I guess I was surprised at the signals. That even on, uh, of course, AM, the broadcast band, I was picking up a lot of good stations that normally were very weak. And they came in in pretty clean, uh, pretty strong. I mean, like local strong. And shortwave, it's it's pretty good at shortwave. Um, of course, I really bought the antenna for the lower spectrum of shortwave, and I also bought it for the AM broadcast. That's the medium wave AM broadcast, and also you know if it catches any long wave. It was, although the loop is not designed for long wave. I did, like I said, I picked up a, a few beacons already. So I'm very happy with the purchase. I'm very happy with the purchase. Again, the only issue is the shipping. Shipping is, I think, is a bit too high. But very happy with the antenna. Um, I'm definitely going to be make, re making videos with reception on this antenna. And maybe eventually do a comparison. Although I want to get a switcher for that. And I know that... um. Dennis, SparkyZilla85, I'm going to put his link below on my description because he gave me a shout out the other day and I appreciate that. Thank you, Dennis, for that. And he recently, he had bought this antenna a few months ago and I was already thinking about buying this antenna, but when he bought it, I was hoping that he would have more videos on it and more in-depth on it, but apparently I don't know what happened with his antenna. So anyway, um, I... I finally, you know, it was right, right near Christmas, and I said, you know what, I'm going to buy myself a <laughs> a gift. So, that was the gift, the loop antenna. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, um, I had the CB whip up on the mass in the roof. And I said a few videos ago that I eventually I'm going to take down that mass. And the antenna that I was eventually going to put up there was this loop. Of course, that's not going to happen now. We just had snow and... Um, Winter time now, so I won't be going up on that roof now that it's winter time and, and uh, basically winter time is cold now and it's icy and all that now. So I have to wait till the spring. So I'm going to have it out here all winter, right at that location. Maybe I'll move it around the backyard. Um, but that's going to be the location for the loop for now until springtime. And then 
I'll see how it goes by then. And maybe if I'm going to permanently put it on the roof, I'll probably plan to put it with a rotor. So I can rotate it around. And so right now, that's the other, that's my next thing is to get a rotor for it. Test it here before I take it up to the roof permanently in, 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 the, in the future. And most likely in the spring. But I'm going to be testing it out. And I'm, I'm very happy with it so far. Um, so... I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to recommend, I, I, so far, I'm going to recommend this very, one thing about the loop, and the reason why I bought this loop also, because um, the mini whip was already, I was getting too frustrated with the mini whip, the mini whip was, uh, no matter where I put it, it was just too much noise, and the days that it worked, it worked well, but not compared to um, this loop, this loop is a whole other level of um, quiet. And I mean, it really knows how the noise and um, signals are much, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot, a lot um, cleaner signal. I mean, you know, I, I, like I said, I've been getting AM stations that normally, um, even right after sunset, even some of them during the day, and they, they're pretty far. I mean, I got like WG, WGN out of Chicago, I pretty much get that almost the whole day except for early morning it comes in, and at night it comes in pretty loud like local and a lot of other stations is coming in like that so i'm gonna definitely do some videos on that and you can see the the difference i mean the s meter is like pegged when i get these stations some of them so i'm very impressed by this and i have this loop they did a good job on the loop the price i think is pretty good for 200 and $49 and the, like I said the only exception is the shipping the shipping is a killer it's $50 shipping I mean and you know and I guess and the support was pretty good you know I sent them a trolling ticket they responded right away and they shipped me the uh, missing power adapter right away you know FedEx and so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up and I'll be doing more videos on this in the future. So again, thank you for this long-winded video. <laughs> uh, so one was for the radio. And the other one was for the antenna. And again, very happy with the purchases. And I had an early Christmas for me. So thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the comments. And thank you for all the likes. And if you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, I bid you farewell. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.